Looking like a hybrid between a Macca claret and a goat's toe, the Jungle Cop Ball Cop was a surprising success on the Isle of Lewis's Blackwater River. With the hook secured in the vise, run the tying thread on just behind the eye, locking that loose end in place with a few turns before trimming it off. That done, carry the thread down the shank in close turns until it reaches a position opposite the barb. Next, take a length of blue holographic tinsel, catch it in place, a few turns of thread, that done. Apply a couple of turns, taking it slightly around the bend, then winding it back on itself. Now carefully catch in that loose end, but don't trim it off yet. That done, take a small jungle cock feather, strip off the soft fibers from the base, and then offer it up to the hook and catch it in place flat on top of the shank, just in front of the turns of blue holographic tinsel. That done, take the thread a short distance up the shank and then apply further turns of the holographic tinsel to form the tag. Secure the loose end, a couple of turns of thread, take the scissors and just trim off the waist. Now the rib comprises a length of fine oval silver tinsel, so cut a length from the spool and then offer it up to the hook. Just catch it in place in front of the tag. Just draw the loose end through and secure it in place. Then run a few turns down the shank just to lock the waist end to it. Take a good pinch of black seal's fur, offer it up to the thread and begin to dub it on to the thread using a simple finger and thumb twist. Once the seal's fur has been dubbed on enough to form a thin tapering rope, begin to wind it up the shank right from the base of the tag towards the eye. Carry on winding it up the shank, stopping just short of the eye. The body hackle is a ginger cock hackle. So remove a hackle from the cape and then just strip away soft fibers from its base. Next, take the scissors and trim the hackle stem to a short stub. Take the hackle and catch it in place just in front of the body with a few tight thread turns. With the hackle caught in, take a pair of hackle pliers and grasp the hackle by its tip. That done. Start to wind the hackle along the body in evenly spaced turns. Carry on winding the hackle down towards the tail until it reaches the end of the body. Leaving the hackle pliers in place to keep tension on the hackle, take hold of the silver tinsel and begin to wind it up through the hackle, locking the turns in place. To prevent the tinsel trapping too many of the fibers, a good little trick is just to wiggle it back and forth slightly so that it's just the hackle stem itself that's being trapped onto the body. Keep winding until the tinsel reaches the front of the body. That done. Draw it up and secure it in place. So with the loose end of the tinsel now secured, trim it off the scissors and do exactly the same with the hackle tip at the bend. The next step is to add the jungle cock cheeks. So take two small feathers from the cape and strip the fibers away from the base to leave a short section of stem. 
So take one feather and offer it up to the near side of the hook and catch it in place with a couple of thread turns. Take the second and offer it up to the other side of the hook. Again, a couple of thread turns just to hold it in place. And just fold those ends back and trim off the waist with scissors. The final component of this fly is a metallic blue feather taken from the neck of a peacock. And it's prepared by stripping off the waist fibres from the base and then stroking the fibres back so that the hackle can be caught in by its tip. So with it prepared, offer the feather up to the hook and catch it in by its tip just behind the eye. Then stroke the fibres back and begin to wind it up towards the eye. The aim is to get those fibres sweeping back nicely over the body. So once it's at the eye, secure that loose end in place and then Carefully trim off the excess. Just set those fibres back again. Build the head. And then cast off with a whip finish. Draw it tight. And then trim off the thread. And that's it complete, the jungle cock bull cock.